Shut the door, she's naked. <laughs> Fred, shut that door. What are you doing? My wife is in here and she's naked. There's nobody in here, Fred. She's naked! Fred, hold on a second. Can't you see her? Who? My wife! Fred, there's nobody in there, okay? What did you put your contacts in your ass, Sonny? <laughs> My wife, Ethel, is in there and she's naked. Fred, Fred, your wife passed away uh, 15 years ago and her name was Joyce. <laughs> Joyce? Ethel? <laughs> Whatever. The important part is she was naked. Fred, have you been taking your medications? How dare you insinuate? No. <laughs> All right, well, there's your problem right there. You gotta remember to take your pills. I would if they got any high. <laughs> Fred, those pills help you with your, your coordination and, and your memory. You wanna keep driving, don't you? Dan, straight, and hookers aren't gonna tick themselves up. <laughs> Fred, I'm really worried about your driving lately. And what's wrong with going six kilometers an hour in the fast lane with no indicator on? <laughs> Some of the, us other drivers might not like it. Yeah, well, pissing off young folks, that's the only pleasure I got left. <laughs> you might cause an accident. Hope you dastards die. Fred, <laughs> have you thought what would happen if you caused an accident? You might die too. Ah, hell, I'm 86 years old. I could die at any... Time. Okay, it's not that funny. I'm not laughing. I'm having a heart attack, you bastard. <laughs> Fred. <laughs> Fred, are you okay? He said, "You, Jesus, Fred. I'm coming home, Nana." <laughs> Fred? 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 Oh, Shalon. <laughs> it's just gas. <clears throat> oh, Fred. Can you smell the ditch? Okay, all right. <laughs> Folks, he's just a bit disoriented. We just moved him into the Happy Valley Retirement Home for assisted living. I hate it there. What are you talking about? They won't wipe my ass. <laughs> Are you saying you can't do that anymore? Of course I can. I'm just tired of it. <laughs> Been doing it for 86 years. <laughs> Someone else's turn. <laughs> what are you doing, mister? <laughs> Want to earn a dollar? Fred, 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 stop that. <laughs> Fred. <laughs> well, you having a heart attack? No, I'm laughing, you prick. He almost got up! Okay. <laughs> For a dollar! Okay, all right. Oh, oh, that hurt. Oh. Well, Fred, I know you enjoy it there. I've seen you have fun. Yeah, yeah. We played hide and go seek and then forgot what we were playing. <laughs> Found my roommate Charlie in the linen closet six weeks later. <laughs> Dead. Oh, that's horrible. No, now I got a room all to myself. <laughs> and a new jacket. <laughs> hey, Fred, is it true what they say about you seniors? Do you ever get up to any, uh, well, you know, you know, hanky-panky? <laughs> what is it, a dad magic show? <laughs> Well, what do you call it? Well, if we have Viagra, it's called the Miracle Down Under. <laughs> or the Raising of the Dead. <laughs> what if you don't have Viagra? It's called stuffing the marshmallow into the piggy dank. <laughs> that goes on for hours. <laughs> is it in yet? <laughs> what do you mean you don't have it? I don't have it. Well, I don't have it. You, who's got the dancing? <laughs> yeah, but Fred, you, you have it made. I mean, I, there's like, I, I read there's 20 senior women to every senior man. You gotta like those odds. I mean, you don't have to worry about things like birth control. Oh, is that some kind of joke teach size? Well, like, you're not gonna get an 80-year-old woman pregnant. First of all, I like younger girls. 
75 year olds. <laughs> the reason this night ditch is neutered, I now have to use a condom because your generation had to go and suck a monkey. <laughs> You ruined it for me! All right. You dastards! Okay, Fred. Who's the guy that did it any... No, not tonight, Ethel. I think I'll have sex with an orangutan. Get my razor. Fred, what's done is done. We all have to practice safe sex and wear a condom. Then when I finally get the damn thing, oh, then I forget what it's for. Oh, look, a biscuit. Six hours later, I was still chewing the bloody thing. <laughs> then the next day, I started at the loon. <laughs> it was ribbed. <laughs> well, well, Fred, do you have a girlfriend now? <coughs> oh, hell. Every time I get attached to one of these nice old gals, they kick the bucket. I'm sorry about that. It's kind of weird waking up, cuddling a stiff. <laughs> oh, that's horrible. No, it was funny the first couple times. <laughs> Good morning, dear. Would you like some breakfast? <laughs> dear? <laughs> Nurse! <laughs> Number seven! <laughs> no, I'd better not. What? Oh, you sick bastards. Okay, look, Fred, I, I need your help. Teddy has announced he, he wants to leave the show, and you've been his grandfather and everything. Maybe you can convince him to stay. Teddy? Yeah. No, they're too much trouble. What do you mean? They don't come off easy. I like lacy panties and suspenders. <laughs> you, no, no, Fred, Fred. I'm not talking about lingerie. I'm talking about your grandson, Teddy Bear. Teddy Dare? Your grandson. Teddy Dare? Yeah. Now, why would I want to see him in a G-string? <laughs> what are you, fucking nuts? <laughs> Get a panda dare. A panda bear? Yeah, they eat that blue and shit little dirt cages. <laughs> Dave! Teddy? I need you! Who the hell is that? Fred, that's your grandson. That's Teddy Bear right there. Good God, he's naked. Put some clothes on you, fat bastard. 